Benno's on the board, people! Nice. Good work, dude. Thank you. Getting one in the box. There he was. Okay. Oh, there you go. Old man Mike's on. Oh, you got him back! He came uh, back. I don't know if it's up here. It's a good oh, one. Broke it again. It's got one! <laughs> the broomstick is bending. Maybe, maybe there's a big red grouper or a uh, big red snapper down there. I was on that mackerel. So we caught a keeper mackerel. He cut the tail off, put a couple slices in, and dropped it down. And it got chomped. Does that belt help? Oh, yeah. color. Big old red grouper. Yeah, that's the red. Nice one, Vic. Here, hold on, hold on. He's no, nope, don't lift. Uh, that'll do. Look, it fell right out. <laughs> that'll do, Victor. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Just over twenty-eight. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Biggest fish in the boat. Still looks sexy down this, there. This is good bottom. It's just not red snapper. He ain't that big because I forgot I didn't have it on the other gear. Here he comes, buddy. Giant red snapper. No way. You're right. No way. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's a keeper. That's a little redemption. I'll give you a half a point for that. Oh, look at what he's got in his <laughs> mouth. Yeah, look. That's my other bait. He oh. said that was a giant that broke him off all those times. Look at all he got all this back. You got everything that back, like brother. A Christmas tree. Yep. You weren't leaving until you got everything back. That's look right. at him. But he never, he's got somebody else's that, he's got that bait you had on. He said, we're not leaving this spot till I catch that monster. He's a decent one. But he got all his junk back like he said he was going to. <laughs> Guys, you should see the drama that we're going through here. Mike's beautiful 27 Sea Hunt. This is 2019 Simrad's uh, showboat or whatever you called it? Yes, it is. It's beautiful. Well, the steering just quit working. <laughs> so this guy's out here driving 45 mile an hour using his trim tabs, taking us Where's to spots. Up? Is it a big grouper? It's a big red grouper, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the size of that one. That's a full grown one, brother. Yep. That thing was pulling drag. Oh. Vic, do you have my line or no? Look at that. No, no it's off. It came off. We need to get a measurement on that big yes, dude. We do. Yeah. Look at you having a day today, man. Killing it. That might be a new PB. Dude, that's a big one. That is a full grown one. 30. 30. He's on so the dog. fat. That's not bad. It's a toad. It's a good one, buddy. He's got some shoulders oh, yeah. on him. Hey, Vic, oh, wow. You don't, don't need no stinking steering. All right, so the real question is, we're out 190 feet, and we're still catching red grouper. <laughs> Where in the other red snapper? Uh, yeah, well, I'm in high gear. Two, two speed in it. Getting the okay. Uh, a live uh, butterfish. butterfish, a big one. It's my buddy Josh here, guys. We've known each other for a couple years. This is the first time we've been out on the boat. Right? That looks Who's like that? a real one. You too? Yeah. yeah. Really? We've never fished before. Oh, wow. The met him at Hobbs Celebration of Life. Sun's right tall, Something head shaking at all? A little bit. Grouper, you think? Yeah. That grouper fought me all the way up, dude. So. 
There's some color straight down right under it. Right oh, yeah, under there it is. Looks like a big red. Say he just feels heavy now. He's not. He's right in the glare. I can't yeah. really He gave up go. 100 feet ago. Yeah, big red, yeah, big red I mean, don't get me wrong, it's me, but. I got somebody's yellow line. That's a That's good me. fish That's right there. Line. Got him, Steve. Yep. Normally we have the net out. Oh, He's yeah. looking at you, kid. Nope. There's another 30 Ooh. incher. Oh, he stinks. Uh, Here, right I got you. Him. I got you. That's Captain a, is tight. Man, oh. It's gonna be snuck. <laughs> oh my God! What did you just say? <laughs> just a jerk. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I, can't, oh, I can't stop him. Ooh. See color way down there. You still got 80 foot to go. Way down there. Like over by Josh, kind of. At least you don't need your arms to steer on the way home because they're going to be smoked. <laughs> oh, that was that red. That's shiny. That's an American. It's an American red. It's <laughs> about time, baby. Get the, get the, the nut. Now oh, we got him. Oh, it's a big, big one. Wow. Yes. Bring it. Jeez. How many lines has he got? All of them. All of them. Three of them. Wow. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's right. Oh, All right, we got to see what it is, man. That's a monster. All right, There's guesses? Not Amish eyes? 31. 32. Right at 31 and a half. Way to go. Right. That a good hey, one. that's what we're out here for. It's the first one we've first even put on the paint. boat. That's a, no, it's just we're drifting over sand here. Oh, oh there there's goes. number two. Here we go. Here we go. Throw that one in here. Go, go, we'll be, go, we're going to have to move some ice. But hey, we got a little color in that cooler, huh? Yeah. Hey, don't pump. Don't pump. Don't pump. Right behind. Right behind, belt. It's stuck up. Let me slow that pull down, okay? Oh. Don't pump, Tyler. Just reel. All right. Just reel. Let's go, too. I think they're down there. We got them fired up. I guess so. Chum balls. You're gaining on them. I, I switched to 100. That a boy. Come on, Tyler. You got this. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught, Tyler? Smaller than this one. 20 inch snook. 20 inch snook, I think. Heck yeah. I got a feeling it's bigger. Come on, T. You got this, brother. Heck yeah. Get him. Please be another big red snapper. <laughs> Josh has got the net. I got a net. All right, you got, you, go. you got a ways, you got to, a ways go, to go, buddy. Just keep going, buddy. You're doing all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're good. Hold on, hold on. You see color yet, guys? He's no. straight up oh. and down now. He pulled. He pulled. He ripped drag when Dude. he first started. He was just hanging on, and I was double thumbing the spool, and yeah. it was just perfect. there. He is. Got to be a big red. Another big red. Yeah. Got to be. It's head shaking still. Yep. Come on, baby. Let's put right. two reds in the box. I'm going to guide this line for you, all right? Long ways down, guys. Almost 200 feet. Yeah, look at the size of this thing. How you doing there, T? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Slow down. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in the net. Oh, it doesn't fit in the net. It doesn't fit in the net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Look at his leader. He was so close to popping. Oh, hey. man. Hey. Three dude, way to go, dude. <laughs> uh, the only problem I'm going to have is figure out how to edit all the oh, swearing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bunch of sailors. It's going to be like car horns. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Just a straight live uh, butterfish. Butter butter nice. Hold on. All right, right there. That's good. 30 and a half. Oh, okay. Hey. 30 inch body. <laughs> That's a toad. So, we have those steering, as I said before. So, those motors, luckily, it quit while they were straight. So, Captain Mike here is using his trim tabs and his motors. He's, he's using his two motors to turn and turn the boat, get it where he wants to go. And he gets it up on plane and he's steering with his trim tabs. Pretty cool trick. Gonna get tricky when we go to the dock, though. Ready, boys? Yeah, we're ready. Dash, you ready?
not every day you can come all the way back from 200 feet of water, water. with no steering. <laughs> Literally, those motors have not turned through For the last eight hours. crazy storm and lots of wind. Good job, Cap. That was awesome. That worked out, man. Got to adapt. Yep. Got to adapt and overcome. Adapt and overcome and catch the big boy. <laughs> You pull that out for me, buddy. This thing, bro. I wouldn't even worry about that shit. What a tank. My gosh. Yeah, I kind of want to take a look at that. Can you get one of me, Josh? Yeah. And I'll get one of you. With the iPhone? Yeah. Look at the fish in that box. As you can see, we caught a lot of monsters. Some absolutely epic fish so i don't want to try and cram it all into one video there's not enough time so let's jump to the kitchen and get to cooking how did we get here <laughs> we're in the kitchen again look at this bed so we've got some beautiful american red snapper and then this is some grouper today we're gonna make something pretty awesome this recipe was made famous I gotta go back to this to the beginning it was very interesting Let's see if I can find it here okay so it says New England chowder became popular in the early 1800s when it was served at Boston's still famous Union Oyster House how cool is that the place has been around that long I wonder if they need a chef. You could get a job there. <laughs> that was funny. So anyways, guys, I, I've got to be honest. I do. I My mom is really good at making chowders and stuff. The hardest part for me is not getting the stuff to curdle. So you got to pay attention to your temperatures and stuff. So, But why don't you walk them through what we got here, kiddo? Okay, so we have got three medium Yukon gold potatoes. One medium yellow onion that he'll dice up small. And then we've got a can of evaporated milk. How many ounces is that? 12 ounces. 12 ounces, okay. One and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Right here. Five tablespoons of butter, unsalted. Right there. Half a cup of half and half. And then the chives and the oyster crackers are optional. Yeah, we'll put those on the top at the end. Yep. Don't forget about the one, one bay, bay leaf. leaf. Yep. All right. One lonely bay leaf. Quarter inch slices. It's the whole onion though, right? All right. New England fish chowder. I made it popular back in the early 1800s. Surprised you didn't know that, bud. So we're just cutting five tablespoons of butter here. All right guys, so we got two and a half tablespoons of butter, and then we've got two and a half here. So half of your butter, we're just gonna melt this down, low heat. Just because it takes a minute before we get the potatoes in there, little tech tip, cover them with cold water and that'll keep them from turning brown. Not that that's ever happened to us before. So you're just throwing the onions and the bay leaf in there. And all you're trying to do, guys, is get these to where they're translucent. Stop trying to eat the cat. Not funny. Stop it. You'll be nice to the kitty. You'll be nice to the kitty. I wonder why the cat's always wet. And they go, oh, slobbering all over them. They're actually pretty good buddies. They hang out. potatoes and then just enough water to cover the potatoes and a little dough juice oh, straight whiskey or coffee whatever <laughs> Juice. 
vodka on the rocks or just water. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get it done. What are you laughing at, hairball? We must be cooking. Look who showed up. <laughs> All right, guys, they're still a little bit punky, but you can get a fork in them. So you don't want to overcook the potatoes right away. So we're going to lay that right in there on top. And then we're going to add your half and half. I've got my heat turned down to low because you don't want to boil this. And there's our evaporated milk. Do not stir it. Try to get it to a very low simmer. Set the timer for 15 minutes, put the lid on. We're gonna check it every few minutes just to make sure it's not boiling. All right, well, our fish is flaking nicely. This is really thick. So I let it go for probably closer to 18 minutes or so because it was so thick at a low simmer. Potatoes are nice and tender. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add kosher salt, one and a half tablespoons. Our butter. That's, guys, just in case you don't know, that's French for butter. Lots of pepper. Oh my. Does that smell good? Okay, so I got you a bowl, and then I got me a bowl. Just saying. What are you laughing at? I'm dead serious. Chives. Have a seat, my dear. Thank you. Tell me what you think, kiddo. Careful, it might be warm. <laughs> Just saying. We always like dive in. Next thing you know, we got blisters on the roof of our mouths and. Mm. I'm predicting it's not very good. <laughs> Is it? I'll trade your bowls. I don't think so, man. <laughs> This is all mine. You thought I was joking. I I'm filling this. Baby baby bear bowl. I'm <laughs> filling this sucker up. So good. That broth is so good. Give me a taste. Yeah. Yep. Classic. What a hit. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, I guess we're going to see you in the next one because we are out of here.